Hey, this is Jesse with Create This. So this week I've been working on MeshMaker VR and I'm going to demo a couple of the new features that I built into it. As of the filming of this video, um, I believe this is the last day of 2016, we have a, an invite from Steampipe uh, for, the, for the VR app, but uh, it's still in like tax verification process and stuff. So it'll probably be a couple of days. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make the, uh, I'm gonna make the app available to anybody who wants it. So if you want it, send, um, I don't know, $14.95 to jesse, J-E-S-S-E, -S -S -E, at createthis.com via PayPal. And uh, I will ship you a copy and then we'll give you a Steam code after it gets into the Steam store. So just for the early adopters who wanna try it out. All right, so let's take a look at some of these new features. Okay, so I've got a very basic uh, demo mesh that I created here. And you can see in the uh, controller here, I've got some new uh, buttons. So the very first one that's kind of interesting, let's, let's go with uh, flip normals. So this is something that the old version didn't have. And what you can do is you can point at a triangle here. Let's see if I can get real close to that so you can see it and it'll highlight the triangle, and then you can flip the normal. And when you flip the normal, that little line right there is the normal. That little line will, uh, instead of coming out this way, it goes in that way. And so that just tells you that the face is visible from this direction, it's not visible from this direction. So you can flip it back, hopefully. Let's see, there we go, flip it back. Okay, and then, let's see, I think I had uh, object rotation mode before. But, let's see, we also have face delete mode now. And this is really handy because if you decide that uh, you screwed up, say you've got three vertices here, and you put a face on them, okay? And say you screw up and you decide, I really don't want a face there. Well, rather than deleting the vertices, because you might have like other vertices associated with these vertices, rather than delete the vertices, you can just go to face delete, stick your controller in there, delete it, and then when you go back to vertex mode, your vertices are still there. So very cool stuff there. Uh, let's see, the next thing that we can do, this is the third feature, is we now have a snapping system. And the really cool thing about, you've got a, a, you've got a 3D crosshair on each uh, controller here. It's a little trippy to look at. I'm not sure if I love the way this works, but it, it seems to work pretty well. I, I'm not sure if I love the way it looks, I mean. It's, uh, it's a little distracting, but like I said, it works really well, so I'm, I'm pretty pleased with it. So what you can do here is uh, these, the snapping grid is actually an object space. So if I want to create some vertices, first let's, let's delete some vertices here. Go to the delete vertex mode, all right. Well, let's, let's create some new ones. Let's create a cube so we can Snap our vertices, it's gonna be a little tiny cube, right? Right there, there's our little cube, and then we can create the faces on it if we want, right? There we go. No big deal. Now, what if we rotate the model? So let's say we've got our cube, and I wanna stand up because I'm tired of kneeling down when I work. Uh, now I can go back to vertex mode and my snaps will actually follow like the whole, the whole uh, coordinate system here, the snapping system rotates along with the model. So that's really nice. So you can, um, you can actually, with the other controller, this one is a teleport controller, with the other controller I can get behind my object if I want and my snaps will still line up and then I can, I can rotate the object back around. I can put it over, I can put it over here if I want. Well, that's probably in front of the, the TV. Put it over here if I want, and uh, I still have snaps. So very useful. They also work if you wanna drag things. So say I wanna take this vertex and I want this cube to be larger. I can drag that vertex out there, and it just works exactly the way you would expect it to. Pretty cool stuff. So I'm really, I'm really pleased with how this turned out. 
Um, in my in my attempts to actually make things like tables and stuff for uh, for other VR titles, I've decided that probably the ability to select entire groups of objects and copy them is probably the most uh, critical next feature. So uh, I'll probably be working on that, but you can see my, my menu here on the touchpad is getting a little bit crowded. So I really need to work on uh, having like windows that can pop up and, or some sort of you know, other menuing system so that I can put other controls on there. Uh, I'm, a little, I'm a little limited by the touchpad menu here. So uh, anyway, if, if you think this is interesting, and I, I sure as heck do, you, if you've never tried VR before, you probably just don't realize that you have full depth perception in here. So I can actually see my cube. I can see that this, this vertex right here is closer to me than these other ones. And I mean, I can precisely just reach out and grab anything that I want and move it around. I mean, it, it's really like a 3D modeling utopia, you know? I'm, I'm amazed that nobody else has created uh, 3D modeling programs for VR yet because it, it, to me, it seems like the killer app, uh, and I'm, I'm really having a, a hell of a time working on this. So anyway, uh, this is Jesse with Create This. Hope you enjoyed this. Uh, send me an email, jesse at createthis.com, or send me, a, uh, send me a PayPal, $14.95, if you'd like to buy this. And uh, I'd love to keep working on it, but I can only keep working on it if people actually buy it. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe. <laughs>